Hi, and we have this problem of this helicopter that is helicopter problem from the web assign and it says uh, this helicopter is moving horizontally to the right at a constant velocity and the weight of the helicopter is 54,700 newtons and this is different for you so make sure to use your numbers instead of mine if you want to get the right answer for the web assign um, and the lift force L is generated by rotating the blade that makes an angle of 21 degrees with respect to the vertical. Okay. So we we know that we know that the weight the the weight going downward. So this is our little free body that I guess we can use this as a free di body diagram. So this is weight downward is equal to 54 Seven zero zero newtons. So fifty four thousand seven hundred newtons. I'm about to sneeze. Oh, I didn't sneeze. Okay. Well, if I if I sneeze anytime soon, just pardon me. Okay. Um. Anyway, let's go back to let's go back to our little problem. So. So we're trying to figure out the L, um, because because it says what is the magnitude of the lift force. So how how in the world do we do that? Well, let's let's look at L. Uh, let's look at um, the the direction of motion of this helicopter. So the helicopter is moving towards the right and not up or down because the question didn't say it's going up or down. So it's only moving towards the right, which means which means we can denote the x-axis as d, and that's the 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 helicopter is moving across the x-axis. And we know that this is this is L, this is L, and this is 21 degrees. Now, let's ca let's calculate the, this angle right here, and that would be 90 minus 21, or just 69, 69 degrees. And this L vector can be broken down to two vectors, which is the horizontal vector and the and the vertical vector, the vertical vector. And let's call this vertical vector y because we're interested in vertical. Um, because the downward weight, since since it's not moving up or down, the downward weight has to cancel out with the top because the net force is zero because this is not moving up or down. So uh, so 54, let, let's go to the side over here, so 54,700 newtons must equal, well how do we, how the heck do we calculate y here? Well we can just do, we can just do, uh, since this is L, this is L, we can just do L sine, sine of 69, because it's opposite opposite over hypotenuse so sine of 69 is opposite over hypotenuse so you you would you would use sine here so l times sine 69 is the y so you put that there and we use, we just solve for l because we're just looking at the magnitude so let's look at here let's look at our calculator and our calculator says 54700 divided by sine of 69 is 58,561. So so L so L is 58,591 newtons. Okay, so that's the magnitude. All right, let's go to B and determine the magnitude of the air resistance R that opposes the motion. Well, Let's let's figure out how much newton is uh, newtons are used to go forward, um, and that's really easy because we we already know L, so we can just calculate the x denoted by this darker green color. So so the 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 x component of this L vector would just be would just be L. L times L times cosine of 69 instead of sine of 69 because sine of 69 was y so cosine of 69 is x 
So, well, L L is fifty eight nine seven uh, five nine one. So this would just be fifty eight five nine one cosine sixty nine. And then this is time. So if, if we just do that, so that would so answer times cosine of sixty nine. So that would give us twenty one thousand. So the answer to the second one is twenty one thousand newtons is equal to r. Oh oh, this is it's because uh we're trying to figure out r, and since um because of Newton's third law, every uh, force acted upon has an equal and opposite okay well it's widely accepted as every action has an equal and opposite reaction um, so that, that's basically what it is so if, if force is applied this way this way to V then there must be air resistance going this way at R so that that's where that's where this came from so I hope I hope I I helped you understand this problem better